What's up everybody, Quentin here with Catfish Karma and in today's video I'm trying something a little bit different on you guys. I'm going to call it One Spot, One Fish. I know what you might be thinking. You might be thinking something like, why would I want to stop and watch a video with only one fish? Well, see, we might get more than one fish, but the guarantee is we're going to fish at one spot and we're going to get at least one fish on film because not everybody has time for a full length video, right? And that's what this video is for. Those of you that uh, maybe you've been super busy and you haven't been able to get out on the water and you don't really have time for a full length video. Maybe you just got enough time though you know the wife's picking out her shoes and you're getting ready to go to dinner or you're stuck at work and you got just, just a few minutes left on break that's uh that's what today's video is for all right i'm almost set up here i'm sitting in a swirly hole basically uh this area is stacked with fish right now. Uh, I'm confident that a lot of the fish that are here are not catfish. They're Asian carp. However, where there's Asian carp, sometimes there's catfish. So, we're giving it a shot. We're gonna have out four rods suspended just off the bottom. And I'll have out two rods casted. For bait, I'll have out shad, skipjack, and buffalo. Suspended, 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 casted, casted. Now we wait. had a bite right there. I don't know if you guys heard that. Well, you know what? Might not have been a bite. That could have been a fish just hitting that line. Just uh, brushing into it. As many fish as are down there. Okay. I'm going to bring in the back line. allow the boat to drift because I've got another waypoint that I dropped it's a hundred feet from here I think uh, it looked like 95 feet is what it said on the screen so what I'm going to try to do is drift over to that waypoint while leaving these other uh, suspended rods in position That feels like a fun fish. As you can see, this one was caught on one of the uh, baits that was casted out. But actually, I haven't really had any action to speak of on these rods that are suspended. This drag is way too tight. I really want him to come over here. Oh, 
kind of think I'm gonna have to go to the other side. Let me do this. This fish doesn't know where he wants, can't make up his mind where he wants to go. Here we go, slide through here. Come on, slide through here. And we missed the other line, that's good. All right. Come on. It's a nice fish. Very nice fish. There we go. Welcome aboard, Mr. Blue Cat. Got another bite going on a suspended rod now. I'm gonna get this fish out of the net just in case we get that fish and it happens to be a whopper. Make that easier. Cut the leader. Let me see what's happening right here. We got it, folks. It was just laying down there, hanging onto that bait. It's not a very, it's not as big as that last one, which is good because I want to get that thing back in the water pretty quick. But at the same time, I don't want to rush this thing up. So like I said folks, just a short little video called One Spot One Fish and we got lucky today, more than one fish. But if you guys are interested, I'll turn this into a series and I'll try to put them out uh, somewhat frequently for those of you that just need a quick little fishing fix, a short video to get you through to your next trip. So if you are interested in such a series, please comment below. Comment anything you want, but if you want to see the series, uh, make sure to type, show me the series or something like that. That'd be cool. Let me get this bigger one back in the water. He's been out the longest. I do not believe in holding on to fish longer than necessary just to show a double or a triple or whatever in fact it really pisses me off when I see people doing that pardon my French but it does alright slide this fish in the net and I'm weigh it just, ooh excuse you you have a little gas that's the fish, not me. Then they got gas. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I brought you up as slow as I could. There we go. Alright. Just for fun. Kicking. Showing out. I got everything between 37 and 40. I hate that scale. It doesn't lock in well. I've got a review coming on the uh, Whisker Seeker scale. Been looking at that scale, well, not looking at it. Uh, I've known of that scale for a while. And I just recently bought one. You guys have, hey, 
quit knocking my camera around, dude. A smaller fish. It's like a little man syndrome or something. Let's see here. Yes, sir. <laughs> There's a little catfish karma for us. Oh, that's so fun. All right. Back healthy. Ooh, little attitude. All right, let me get this other one off the hook. I'll show you that one. And we'll wrap up the uh, first episode of One Spot, One Fish. Long and skinny, but a beautiful blue cat nonetheless. <laughs> Once again, guys, if you want to see a, a series of quick videos like this called One Spot One Fish, hit me in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next one here on Catfish Carmen.